So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at the Uniball RE3 Biz Erasable Multi-Pen. If you have watched many of my erasable pen videos in the past, you'll know that I love the design of Uniball's RE series, but I really don't like the ink. Anyway, I keep buying them just because that design is so cool. So I wanted to run through this one, the newest addition to the series. Like I said, this is the Uniball RE3 Biz. It dropped sometime last year, so 2019, maybe November, December, something like that. Obviously, we'd probably tell this is a Japanese model. Retail price is a thousand yen, so right about ten dollars. And this, I believe, is a limited edition yellow color, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. So what this is is a three-color black, blue, red twist-style multi-pen with a push button actuation. So it's a little bit confusing because usually you would just twist to get the color you want and in between the twist points, the tip would just not be extended. This pen, what you do is you twist to the color you want and then you just have a sort of knock style pen. When it's knocked, you can't twist it. So if you have the pen like this, you probably twist it and you think where's the pen so you have to push the button, but then you can't twist it to change it. It just takes a little while to wrap your brain around, but uh, eventually you will get it. So looking at the pen, we could see that it has a very cool yellow color, also sold in like blue, green, black, red, a few other colors. Uh, this front area is metal, which is really nice to see, just really well done. Really nice knurling, not sharp, looks great. And then uh, this piece is plastic. I will say that matching anodizing, anodized aluminum and plastic is super hard to do, as evidenced by the many companies that just can't match their metal components and their plastic components. But Uniball did this like perfectly. It's spot on between the two. And you could probably tell, uh, it's a little hard to tell with the glare, but they really did a great job here. Here we have this indicator. This actually has a little point there that spins to look at the color, which is cool so you can tell what color you have. Nice metal clip, very functional metal clip. And then we have this push button on top. It's knurled, which is a little confusing because it may, might make you think that you're supposed to twist it, but you don't twist it. You can pull it off and this will reveal that eraser. The RE series, like I said, is a set of erasable pens. And they use this hard eraser because all you could do, all you have to do to, uh, re <laughs> sorry, all you have to do to erase the RE series is create some heat, which it's a heat sensitive ink. So if you get it hot enough through friction, that it will erase. Uh, so this is just to create friction with the paper. So it's very hard. One of the interesting design choices of the pen is that, if you think about it, it's a push button style to extend this, but also the eraser is part of the push button. Uh, so you think if you actually went down to erase, you would just push the button in and out. But the interesting thing about this pen is that if you twist this, lock in your color, press it down, you could press it now, but if you invert it, it locks, so now it will not push down. You cannot push the tip in and out. It has a little bit of rattle, but basically it's locked in. Or not basically, it is locked in. So now you can push as hard as you want and do any sort of erasing with no problems whatsoever. So that's a pretty cool little design choice they did. This front piece comes off. It would be great if you could reuse this in a different pen, but I haven't found anything compatible. And then plus it has this sort of taper here, which can be very difficult to match something with. Inside, you can see the very standard multi-pen design, just a twist style. And again, usually just by twisting it, this extension would be enough to push the tip out. But Uniball had this one combine the twist here with the push button. It's a little bit quirky, but gets the job done. And again, this piece is metal. The rest of the pen, aside from the clip, is all plastic. So 
I think it's a great looking pen. It works really well. Sometimes I twist it when I should push the button or I push the button when I should twist it, but uh, that's not a huge deal. The pen uses Uniball's RE erasable ink. This ink I would say is just fine. It tends to have very light colors. Again, here I just want to twist it. You don't twist it, you push, twist, push. Anyway, back to the ink. It uses very light colors. The red is just a light red. The black is, I would say, the worst of the bunch. It is more like a dark gray than a black. And I find that to be really annoying, which is not like these are cheap pens or anything like that. You just have a light color. Uh, Pilot's Friction series does not have this problem. It has erasable ink and better colors. So I almost always use friction when I want erasable ink, but uh, Uni's design of the pens, again, is light years ahead of Pilot's. The erasing, it does work well. This thing does not tear up your paper. And all you have to do is create a little bit of friction. You don't even have to use this thing. You can use this. It works better than normal, but if you have something around here, uh, most things will work. Here's, I don't know, a random fountain pen. That works too. Does it work better than the refill? No, does it work worse? A little bit, but you could use all sorts of things. Here's just another random fountain pen. You could probably, uh, you'd probably burn your finger if you did it, but you could use almost anything. The erasing will create some divots in the paper, but it actually erases quite well. You could almost make out that something was there, but you can't make out what was there. So it's a good eraser and because, it's a good erasure. And then because this is just creating friction, there's nothing, there's no gunk or anything left behind. You know, eventually this thing will wear out, but that'll take a very long time. So not a great pen because of the light color, but a very good erasing pen. Uh, I think that about covers it. I just wanted to do a quick run through of this RE3, just because it's a really interesting and cool pen. I know there's a lot of erasable pen fans out there and Uniball's RE series is getting better than it used to be. And the designs are awesome, but the uh, inks are still problematic. I'm guessing what you could do is, I think these are re removable. I haven't actually tried. Yeah, so you could re probably remove these and replace them with something else just to take advantage of this very cool pen body. Uh, that might not be a terrible idea, but uh, up to you. These things, again, they're not unusable. They're just not as good as they could be. And there's so many choices and the friction, they're so good and so easy to find that it's worth considering the friction, even when RE pens are so cool. So that is the Uniball RE3 Biz. Thanks for watching.